here's a gorgeous common water snake. Super pretty colors. Nice rusty colored orange. And then his bands look almost purple. Really cool. Super far away, but there's a brown water snake basking. This makes two snakes for the day. Third snake on the day, the ever-present northern black racer. Not gonna mess with this guy, just gonna keep hiking. This is actually a pretty decent find for this area. Little red-bellied water snake. It's not super often that you see him here. Coolio. A rat snake. Pretty big rat snake too. Probably five feet. Honestly, this is more than five feet. This is the biggest rat snake of the year, probably. None of that. That's not necessary. It's not. Because I just want to be your friend. So biting me would not be very productive. Just by the way. What's up, brother? You're gorgeous. So pretty. I'm such a coward hooking a rat snake. Looks like it's probably a big female. Anyways, I kind of just wanted to hold it briefly, so I'll probably let her go now. Really strange defensive display here. <laughs> just coiled up. I've never seen a big rat snake do this. You'd think the big ones would be like posturing up and trying to fight because they know how big they are. But I don't know kind of unique anyways rat snakes love to see them I have a microscopic snake in my hand it's a baby ring neck just so tiny and fragile got to be super careful when holding this what even Snakes are just so variable. Like, I went from that five and a half foot rat snake, probably 15 minutes ago, to this just tiny, tiny ring neck. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and let him go back under his piece of tin that's too big for him. Unless I'm mistaken, this is a pair of black racers. Doesn't look like just one. Yeah, it is a pair of black racers. Wow, that's pretty cool. I think I'll leave him to it. Here's a box turtle. He's got an impossible task. He ain't getting up that wall. First snake of the night, little red-bellied snake. Steraria occupita maculata or something like that. Anyways, I don't speak Latin. We're just gonna let him across the road and keep cruising. So I went night cruising earlier this week and it was like a complete bust. I found just a red bellied snake and a dead king snake. But tonight the weather looks so much better. The sun is just now starting to set. So hopefully we get some cool stuff on the road. I'm gonna meet up with a friend and then we're gonna get cracking. First snake of the night, the K's brown snake. This guy's flattening his head. Wow, he's an unhappy fellow. Not a bad size for a brown snake either. Poke. Cool. Hey there, bucko. Anyways, I'll just take some quick voucher photos and move him across to the side he was headed to. Do not poop on me. Oh, that's a big one, too. Yeah, that's another big brown snake. My friend just made the spot of the century. That was a great spot. Keep going. Well, Don't try and like beef with me now. Oh, so. well, now he's like looking weird. Keep going. I don't really know if it's a rough or a smooth, but anyways, we'll move them across the road. All right, guys, this made the night. Giant northern scarlet snake. And just the prettiest pattern. I'll give you guys a close-up in a minute, but super gorgeous. I really like all the, I don't know what you would even call it, like interference of that red color in his yellow bands. So sick. All right, let's take some pictures. That's so cool. It's just like a big 
gummy worm. It's not supposed to be there. <laughs> Dang, son. That's really cool. Look at this guy. Pretty sweet. This bird is going crazy. <laughs> really is. Everyone's excited about the scarlet snake. One last look at this scarlet snake before we let him across the road. So sick. We've been grinding for like three hours and this is the first notable snake. Pretty neat. Anyways, we'll let him across and this might be the last snake of the night, but I'll check in if we see anything else.